to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a spring inspired tablescape in here and then maybe sprinkle in a few more spring touches. If you guys watched my last video, we went in and decorated my main family room or at least got started. I'm definitely not done decorating yet. I love taking it slow, little by little and getting things as I go. That way I don't go out and overbuy and spend all this money at the store by just going overboard. I'm definitely trying to keep it subtle, simple, and of course, beautiful. So if that interests you, please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and let's dive right in. Springtime can be such a wonderful opportunity to breathe new life into your homes and a lot of it necessarily doesn't even mean spending money. You could easily declutter and organize a space. I love to make three piles, trash, keep, and donate. So I highly encourage you to just take some of your own personal time and elbow grease, go through your homes, declutter, organize. Another free way to kind of breathe new life into your space is to maybe rearrange a room. You don't have to go out and buy all new furniture and do some fancy makeover. Open your windows, open your blinds, let in some fresh air and sunshine, maybe rearrange a room, some furniture around, and it's also just as exciting. We have a lot of spring stuff going on in this home, so make sure if you all are not yet subscribed that you do. Um, I have some home updates, room makeovers, and of course some spring cleaning and decorating, and I would absolutely love to have you. When decorating a space in my home, I have to give it a once over clean, whether that's wiping down the table. I did a vacuum and mop really quickly under here. This moss runner I picked up from Michaels. I love this. It was super budget friendly. I think it was 40% off of 1999 and I loved how real and organic it looked. I've seen some more fake looking ones that look like turf, but this one I love just how natural and real it looked. So I picked that up from Michaels on sale. This floral arrangement I'd gotten from my mom because she's moving and she gave it to me. So that was at no cost. The bunny on the table, I believe I got from Home Goods or TJ Maxx years ago. Same thing with these, I guess, tumblers or not tumblers, um, candle hurricanes, I think they're called, and these rocks. I've already owned for years too, along with these candles. So I'm trying to utilize as much as I already have, but a lot of these items you can pick up for very cheap, maybe between the Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot, um, and on sale places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So everything you see today will be super budget friendly, keeping your dollar in mind. These sweet little gold bunnies, for example, are from the Target Dollar Sprout this year, and I believe they were two for $5. Full transparency, I probably wouldn't go out and do a huge tablescape like this if I wasn't hosting Easter or maybe if it brings you joy, go right on ahead, um, especially if maybe you own a lot of things that you would use already. But I am kind of taking the extra steps to put together a beautiful tablescape because I am hosting Easter this year in my home. I'm going to have some close family over and we're going to do an Easter brunch with mimosas and bloody Mary's and fruit and bacon and eggs and waffles and all the yummy brunch foods. So I wanted to make sure that I put together a beautiful tablescape just to kind of make it a little bit more special. I also wanted to keep this very organic and not kitschy. I'm not into like the super bright kind of I don't know, more like rainbow, like bright pinks and blues and yellows. I find them beautiful. I just feel like it clashes with my home. 
So this way I feel like I'm able to bring in some color with the greens and the oranges and the yellows, um, but it does it in more of an organic way. So let me know if you guys love decorating with a, light of a lot of color, or do you prefer more of like the organic neutral vibe? There is no wrong answer. I'm just so curious what you guys do in your space. So for the next decorative step that we're gonna be putting on these plates now, I got this off of Pinterest. I will try and remember to put the pin down below in the description box, but it's pretty straightforward. Now, I don't know if these are the napkins I would have chosen for this tablescape, but I already have them. So we'll see if I end up keeping these or swapping them out, because I feel like napkins are pretty budget friendly to swap out. So. We'll have to see about these, but for the sake of today's video, these will work perfectly to show you my little quick little DIY special touch to put on your tablescape. So all you're gonna need is however many napkins. So I'm just doing a table setting for four, but my table does see 10, but there's four people in my family. And for the sake of putting together the tablescape today, I'm gonna do just four. So however many people that you need napkins wise, and then you're gonna need some little eggs. Now you can even use real eggs for this um, that are not store-bought. I know so many people have chickens these days and not all eggs have to be refrigerated. A lot of eggs you can just keep on the counter. So any room temperature egg um, will work. They have so many beautiful natural different colors. Um, but I'm gonna be just using these decorative plastic eggs that I already have. These probably might work out a little bit better if you wanna have something that's out for a while. So I'm gonna be using some of these eggs. So one egg for every plate that you're going to be doing. You're gonna need a little bit of jute string or ribbon is fine. This is just what I already had. And then a pair of scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of these together and then I'll show you the end result. I have these beautiful wildflowers that I collected in a field on the side of the road and I just love how they are real and they give these plates a little bit of a pop of color um, because the tablescape has a little bit of color in it and I feel like the plates definitely needed a little pop of that as well so I feel like these beautiful wildflowers did just that so I'm just tucking in a little bud into the jute string on these sweet little napkins
let me know down below in the comments what you all think of this tablescape. I know there were so many different ways that I could have taken this and I have been scrolling and pinning ideas on Pinterest and I love taking ideas and kind of doing my own thing and I didn't want this to be too crowded and overdone. I also didn't want it to go the full length of the table because uh, when I entertain, I will be needing the ends of the table to seat um, the head, both ends of the table, so I can seat a full 10 here. So I wanted to make sure that I left room for doing that. So keep that in mind when putting together your tablescape. You want to make sure you're leaving yourself some room for your guests to sit and enjoy their meals. Next up, I wanted to put together this really cute little floral arrangement. All this is from Michael's. You saw... Um, just a quick little overview in the beginning of this video and everything was 40% off the basket the florals all of it um, This wasn't really looking full enough for my Style so I went ahead and added in that second bouquet of flowers and again Just so organic and natural bringing that natural beauty of the outside into my home Before I do a few things here in the kitchen, as you can see, I was behind on dishes. So I'm going to take just the few minutes it takes to throw these in the dishwasher and run a quick load. I run a load in my dishwasher every single day. And if I miss one, it really messes up my flow. So before I go any further, I wanted to empty out this sink. I also feel like you could have the most beautiful kitchen in the world and it is so distracting. And I feel like all you can see are the the dishes in the sink which I did not want to be the case because I wanted to keep this kitchen light and bright and I wanted the spring touches to stand out so as you can see this is going by really really quickly and then we're gonna do a few little sweet spring decorating touches here in the kitchen I grabbed this beautiful marble tray for just $10 from Home Goods. I feel like that is such a good deal for real marble. This thing is heavy and look how amazing it blends in with my counters. I didn't want anything too bold. I've had one in trays here, but I was just wanting to switch it up and I thought this was perfect. It just elevated my soaps and sprays that I use every day. And I still had a few more sprigs of these beautiful wildflowers that we picked this morning. And then I decided after the fact to add this really cute little bunny that was actually given to me about five years ago. So I already owned him as well. Again, keeping with the low cost budget that I'm doing this spring. That is one of my goals this year is to definitely crack down on my spending. So um, budget decorating and still being able to do things around my home and my passion is homemaking and decorating. So I kind of been enjoying the challenge, but I jumped on Etsy and I found this beautiful digital art print. I think it was under $3 and I just print it right at home and I'm going to swap out this fruit print that I currently have in this frame that I got from Target. This is such an inexpensive way to change a space and I have seen the technique where you can take some Mod Podge and paint it over the top of these prints and it makes it look more real realistic like almost like an acrylic painting but I print this on matte paper anyways not gloss so it didn't bother me at all but I will have to try that coming up here pretty soon but I thought these bunnies were so cute and matched with everything that I was decorating with this year
this glass vase you saw earlier it had the rocks in it that I separated it into two smaller glass ones and I decided to use it here in the kitchen and put some real water in it that I'm gonna put some of these fake sprigs that I got from Hobby Lobby last spring they used to be on my dining table and I'm going to put these in the water and I feel like it makes them look so realistic and I just love how this came out and again I'm just repurposing and reusing and using things that I already have around my home you could absolutely go outside and pick up some beautiful branches from there too at no cost but Hobby Lobby usually has beautiful florals like this on sale for 50% off. This cute little bunny I decided to put on my island. He's actually from Walmart. I don't know if they have him this year, but I did pick him up last year. I think he was around $14. And I just love how he complimented my kitchen while still keeping my island clean and simple. I am so excited to share with you all this really easy spring dessert. So maybe you are entertaining or maybe you're in charge of bringing something over to a family's home this year. This is a really fun spin on strawberry shortcake and it doesn't get any more spring dessert than strawberry shortcake. And when it involves donuts, it's just 10 times better. So all you're going to do is slice the donut in half. Now it almost kind of looks like a bagel. And then you're going to use whipped cream. I had Cool Whip on hand, but the actual like spray whipped cream might be a little bit easier, but I do love the texture that spreading the Cool Whip onto these donuts gave. I just felt like it looked more like organic and homemade, but you're just going to spread your whipped cream over the bottom layer of the donut and then I just used I think it was one strawberry per donut and sliced it up in flat slices on each donut and then you're gonna see me put one more layer of whipped cream on the tops of these desserts and that's just to make sure that the tops kind of gives it something to kind of like grip and stick to and it just makes really beautiful delicious strawberry shortcake donuts. I saw the cutest little craft over on Pinterest and I decided to go ahead and give it a go on my own. So while I was at Michael's looking at spring decor, I found the cutest little wooden eggs. They're in a variety of sizes and I think they were just a few dollars because they were on sale. And then I picked up some of these little acrylic paints. I got a muted yellow, a really beautiful muted green, and then just a nice crisp white. And I decided to go ahead and just hand paint some little daisies on these wooden eggs. And I feel like they will just also bring in such like that natural element of the wood of the eggs and then the really beautiful muted colors that I chose to paint on here. And they came out so cute and it was just a fun way to be able to be creative and do something a little bit different now I am NOT an artist I'm not crafty in any way and I will say if you're just looking for a really easy DIY this one is perfect and I know that I will have these for years to come I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope that I inspired you to get up and get some spring cleaning some decluttering, some organizing, some decorating, maybe some little DIYs, make a sweet treat. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you could please like and subscribe before you leave. You can even hit the bell and you can get notified anytime I put up a brand new video. But that's going to do it for this one and I'll see you all in a brand new video next week.
Bye, friends.